tree. Everybody's got a wet area where mm -hmm. nothing else will grow. This is the one for you. Well, and I promise you, these are the biggest blooms that you can get on an iris, which is just amazing. It's a five piece Japanese iris collection, $31.92. When you talk about blooms on an iris, it's like, what'd you give your iris? Well, I got the cottage <laughs> farms ones. That's all you need to know. But tell us about these because you are getting five different varieties. Right, exactly, and look at the colors. Here's my representation. By the way, your blooms are gonna be a lot bigger than this. These blooms are up to 10 inches across. Wow. I have an area where the drain pipe comes down because here we have this water reparation things where you have to pipe all the water away from the house. Yep. So there's that area where all the water goes and it's a, it's a boggy area. Mm -hmm. it, it's really, really muddy down in there and everything rots, nothing wants to grow there. The Japanese iris, oh my gosh, they love it. The foliage is up, and it's like Moses in the bulrushes, except <laughs> these bulrushes are in bloom. Gigantic flowers, you know our friend Janice Marie that sells cameras oh, and yes. all that? Okay, she comes over just to take pictures of the Japanese iris. Oh, when they're wow. blooming, you don't notice anything else. You don't even notice that the house is on fire. You know, and I amazing. I told Philip, I said, where were these Japanese irises when I was getting my side yard irrigated for uh -huh. four figures? This could have just been yeah, it the been. perfect solution because I had that spot. I mean, unfortunately, it was like the side of my house, but you know, sometimes it's really hard to find that perfect fit because I've noticed, you know, when you when you have a house or even an apartment, you've got very specific areas of the ground, and it's nice even with this show. We literally have a spot for everything. So give us yeah. that muggy area. Go and plant these because if nothing else, you've never seen this color scheme before in the irises. And I'm, I'm just wild about the Japanese irises. And you go to the nursery and you'll find Japanese irises. And you typically, you, you can find a blue one and you can find a white one, but you don't find all of these in one spot. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go all over creation trying to find stuff? And look at that graciosa. See, it has, it, I love the f fact they call it graciosa because it's got that grass-like foliage. It's beautiful. Again, it does move in the wind. And I said, okay. you know how this will grow in those wet areas? It also grows in regular garden soil. You don't have to have it in a wet area. It does great in a container, but if you've got that area right at the base of your drain pipe and you don't want to see the end of the drain pipe, plant them there. There's Geisha Girl right there. So how pretty, pretty is she with that beautiful royal purple in the center and then the pale blue around the edge. I mean, it's like the king of England did his thumbprint and that's yeah. the way it looked. And there is Pink Lady right there and she is a true pink one and it's hard to find um, a Japanese iris that's pink and that is a true pale pink which I absolutely love. And you know what I love about these for you to bring home to your garden is when you take a look at the color scheme, some of them look like they have that hand painted quality to them. Because yes. one thing that I notice about the nurseries, they're all solid color, yes. the irises. Exactly. And and the one we just had on the Shogun that you had on there, how gorgeous is that? Yes. If you got if you got that red riding hood penstemon, had that nearby, oh my goodness. And there's Temple Bells right there. The perfect cornflower blue crazy about that one and the blooms as i mentioned up to 10 inches across the largest blooms on any iris of any sort now that's how what tall they do. do they how tall would they would you say they get mine were three feet tall Whoa. three feet tall so they're up they're up like an or they'll be taller than what you're seeing here and they're up like ornamental grasses. They come back every single year in the really cold areas, like in, in Colorado, which is really cold, mm -hmm. down in Mississippi, where it's really, really hot. These are gonna absolutely rock. And when they're blooming in the garden, literally, you will not notice anything else. It oh, is that awesome. otherworldly kind of beautiful. And they're there for good. These are very, very long lived. Put them in the right spot, as much sun as possible, mm -hmm. and they're great. You could also put them in elevated pots right in a pond. If you've got water lily pond, oh, or if sweet. you've got a goldfish pond, yes. you can put them in pots and elevate the pot so it's just below the water surface, and these Japanese irises will absolutely go to town. And remember, you're getting a five-piece collection. If you love the way irises look already, well, imagine bringing home this collection that's bigger, bigger blooms, the biggest blooms you can get on any iris across the board, delivered to your door in five different varieties that aren't the white irises, yes. that aren't the blue irises, blue purple mm -hmm. irises that are that solid singular color. These deliver just the same way that your old irises looked when you planted them originally, but it's hard to believe. Literally throw them anywhere in your garden and they yeah. just go. They absolutely go. 
as much sun as you can give them and you'll get the big blooms. But the difference with these irises is that I know you've seen Siberian irises and I know you've seen German irises. These are on a flat plane. In other words, the petals, they don't hang down, they stretch out like a plate, oh, really big, up to 10 inches across. And what I do is I get on a stepper, a little step lighter, and I shoot right down on it. And it's perfectly symmetrical all around. It's one of those things where you got to run and get your camera. It's oh, awesome. fabulous to take pictures of. And I send out big divisions to you. These will get established. They're there for good. This is the way they come. Just plant them to here in a mucky soil or in a regular garden soil in your border. Even when they're not blooming, that foliage adds texture to your border. What's the sun exposure like on this? Um, I want to give them as much sun as possible. Okay. But even if it's only morning sun, mm -hmm. they're going to bloom. Good enough. Yeah. And that's what I think is so fantastic about this is because, again, this is that new way, reinventing the wheel of the yeah. irises that you know that maybe you already have in your yard. I mean, these could get potentially up to how, how tall? Oh, the, mine were about two and a half to three feet tall. Wow. There's that Graciosa. And you know, you can do other things with it too. It's fantastic in the garden for texture. But look at the blooms. Geisha Girl, there's that royal thumbprint right there That's on crazy. each petal. Gorgeous, gorgeous to have in the garden. They never go away. They're there for good. Pink Lady, almost impossible to find the pink ones. And if you're dividing them all up, put the Pink Lady right next to Shogun. Incredible looking. See, those are those penstemon colors too, yep. again. I don't uh, think I've ever seen those colors in an iris. You just don't see them. Not We've at all. We've put together this incredible collection and you get all five varieties. So jump on these and enjoy for years to come. $31.92. Remember, these are the biggest blooms you could hope for on an iris. It's in 43448. Still available.